Hi Jenny, hi Shirley, hello Holly, hi there, good afternoon, hello, hi Ginny, how are we, hello Karen, hi there, good afternoon everybody, or is it good evening, no it's still good afternoon isn't it, hello Kim, how are you Kim, how is everybody, hello Tony, hello there, hi Sue, good afternoon, hi Serena, my cooker's just broke. Literally, we put the gammon in the oven uh, and we left it in there thinking it was cooking. And when we've come to it an hour later, it's not cooked. So the, the oven's broke. Hello, Ali. Hello, Susan. Hi, Janice. Hope you're well, Serena. Hello, Alison. Hi, Patricia. How is everybody? How is everybody? Hello, Gina. Is it a nice surprise? <laughs> <laughs> hi Tracy, hi Ali, good afternoon everybody, welcome, welcome, I hope you've had a good Christmas, hello Jennifer, hi Michelle, hello there, I hope everybody's had a good Christmas, hello Lucy, hello Flower, how are you, hi Jane, how are you, hello Anne, good afternoon, hello ladies, welcome, I know my cook has gone. That's a shame. I can cook even less. <laughs> Hi, Hope. Hi, Hope. It was, it was lovely, Jenny, Christmas was. It was very nice. It's soon, it, you know, the day's soon gone. Hello, Sarah. I have had a lovely few days, actually. Hello, Susan. Hi, Karen. I know, no cooker. What a shame, I can't cook. It's a good job I've got two ovens. I've got two ovens. I've got a little one and a different size one. So we're quite, we're lucky with that. But we're going to have to get it fixed. We've had a lovely Christmas, Bev, have you? Hello, Kat, Kat, Kat uh, hang on, is it Katie? Yes. Hi, Wendy. Hello there. Um, Karen says she's glad it's over. <laughs> so what are you doing with your cooker then? So it's broke, Jennifer. So we're going to have to get it fixed. Yep, the cooker. I could boil gammon. I don't cook anything, Alison. Let's get this straight. I don't cook anything. Ian does the cooking, so I'll let him stress over it. I don't mind if I starve. Hello, Jill. Hello there. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello there. Good afternoon, everybody. So, yes, I don't mind if I starve. I don't cook anyway. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hello, Karen. We've got so much in our fridge. We don't need to cook all week. <laughs> <laughs> I had eight of your stamp sets between Christmas and my birthday and a journal. Yay, Tony. Oh, I hope you're going to get your journal out. I hope you're going to get your journal out. Are you well, Diane? How are you, Flower? How are you? Hello, Mimi. Hello there. So, yes, I'm working in my journal. I'm quite enjoying my journal at the moment. I'm quite enjoying it because I can keep a record as well. So it's quite nice. Hello, Kirsty. So did you have anything good for Christmas? I've just heard what Tony's had. She had eight stamp sets of my stamps. Yay. So did you get anything good for Christmas? I got lots of chocolate and I got some special gifts from Facebook friends. So I did quite well. My husband doesn't get me. We didn't buy for each other, but he doesn't get me craft goodies anyway because he doesn't know what I've got. So he don't get me craft goodies because he just says that I'll get what I've already got. So, yes, yeah, so I didn't get any craft goodies. So, did you get any craft goodies? I got lots of chocolate, I know that much. Good afternoon, Carol. Hello, Carol. How are you? Isn't it lovely not having to make Chris? Oh, isn't it? Lo yes, I agree, Sarah. <laughs> it's lovely not having to make Christmas cards. <laughs> Just to do something different. And I've decided I'm going to do a few journal pages, so it's quite nice. 
so it's quite nice i actually did a journal page for a workshop for a pre-recorded workshop which is that one which is that one and i like that as well so i'm quite pleased with that one lots of crafty loveliness from the other half oh lisa oh you did well then my christmas was pants oh no, oh, no you weren't well were you Anne? oh no but i did get some pergamano scissors <laughs> I got pennies to spend on craft goodies and workshops. Yay, Tracy. That's a result. I like it when I get pennies because I can pick what I want. My husband pinches my craft goodies and wraps them up. <laughs> That's a good one, Michelle. <laughs> oh. I have made a journal page and you love it, Tony. I must admit it's nice because you can look back, can't you? I did receive Janet's cuties for the day after Christmas. That's fab, Hope. That's fab. I got a very generous voucher from Stampers Grove for Christmas from one of my sons. Now you've now the thing is just making a decision, Elizabeth, on what you want. <laughs> Hi Yvonne, hello there. And Lorraine got the full set of Ink Tense pencils, 72. Wow. Wow. I'm so pleased we can fill our journal pages exactly. I got a book and a beautiful amber bracelet. Oh, how lovely, Jenny. How lovely. Hubby said he would pay for one of your workshops. Oh, bless him, Wendy. Bless him. A crafting trolley. You see, I love my trolleys. I love my trolleys. My best present was from Iris, age seven. She put one of her toys in my stocking in case Santa didn't come bought myself loads of prezzies from a ch I buy myself lots of presents as well Alison bless age bless Iris bless her I did get a journal oh wonderful and bath bombs you see I like bath bombs as well that's so sweet isn't it Alison I've ordered the journal from James at Stampers Grove hoping for some journal page workshops in the coming months oh yes we will be so I've done I've done the pre-recorded one, which you know, Gina, and I've done the fresh and funky journal page, so we'll be doing them. But I thought I'd do a journal page today just to do something a little bit different, just to do something a little bit different. It's going to be like this, but we're using different imagery. So it's going to be to coordinate with this, but it's going to be with different imagery. Just so my pages work together. All this chatter is making me so smiley. Everyone seems to have had it. I know, it's nice, isn't it, Tracy? At least, you know, we have to make the best of it, don't we? Oh, Diane got a journal as well. Yay, we've got journals, all of us. My husband's sneaked into my craft room and made me a Christmas card. He hasn't got a clue how to use anything. His card looked like a toddler had made it. But I bet you loved it all the more, Sarah, because he made it. I know I would. I can't remember what I bought until it arrives. <laughs> I've done that as well, Jennifer. I got the rest of the Claire ink pads. Brilliant. A Dilusions journal, pink, pink pig journals, Dina Wakely pin, paints, and two of the Deflecto. Hey, Kim, you did well. I got some Deflecto for myself, Kim. I got the Deflecto storage for myself. I bought that myself. Aren't we good? Aren't we lucky? Anyway, so... I thought I'd do a journal page just to do something a little bit different and just so we use our stamps in a little bit different way. I'm going to buy, oh bless you Karen, bless you Karen, thank you. Found my gel plate, will be in my A4 journal. Brilliant Catherine, you can play along. Hello, Char Hello Charlie, how are you? Have you had a good Christmas Charlie? Lovely to see you. So we're going to work in, I'm working in my eight and a half by eight and a half uh, Diane Reevely journal, but it makes no difference if you create a card, a journal, a canvas, a scrapbook page. It makes no difference at all. Oh, good. I've managed to get connected. Oh, it does sometimes, Suzanne. It takes a while sometimes to get connected. So I do know that myself. I'm very well, Charlie. I'm very well. So did you have a good Christmas, getting lots of nice presents from Grandma? <laughs> so what we're going to be using is I'm using my six inch circular gel press. I've made 
I've made, knitted three trauma teddies. Oh, Linda, that sounds lovely. That sounds lovely. It doesn't matter if you haven't got a journal, Patricia. You can make a card that's um, eight and a half by eight and a half and you can mat and layer it. Or if you've got a, a square gel press, you can do it completely the same, but with a different shape. No problem at all. And Sally says, I hope you had a good Christmas, Hope. We didn't buy presents for each other, so I had to buy my own. Exactly, Kim. I bought my own as well, Kim. So it doesn't matter. I did exactly the same, Kim. I bought my own. And do you know what? I'm very happy that I bought my own and I got exactly what I want. I, want, I got some Deflecto storage. I got some more inks. I got lots of chocolates. Oh, I'm quite happy. I don't think Belinda's here. I don't know. I don't know whether she's seen the post that I'm going live. So I don't know how Belinda is at the moment. I'm at my parents' house, house, but it's too noisy in the living room. So I'm sitting on the stairs. <laughs> oh, poor Jennifer's been abandoned to the stairs. Bless. So no, I haven't seen Belinda. Sorry, Hope. But I, I'm hoping she's okay. I've sent a message. So what we're going to do... Hello, Sheila Dickinson, Serena says. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this page, but with a different image. So you've got two pages then you could create if you wanted with different imagery. So what I'm going to use. So I love hearing what everybody had for Christmas. I get excited over everybody else's presents. So it's hilarious. What kind of cardstock is the journal you are using? This is the Diane Reevely one and she used, and inside this is like a mixed media card, but you could use 250 or 300 GSM smooth white card. So you could use smooth white card as long as it takes moisture. So as long as it takes moisture. Oh, I'm glad you like the bird set, Helen. Thank you. So what I'm going to be using for this page is I'm doing exactly the same page, exactly the same background, but I'm going to be using the bee stamp. I'm going to be using the bee stamp from the honey bee and I'm going to be using the smaller bee from the little critters. I used to end up in the toilet when the kids were small. <laughs> oh, bless. That's just such a shame. So we're going to do it nice and steady because there is no rush, is there? There is no rush. Mentioned buying me a workshop for birthday, but it would have been easier asking for the moon. <laughs> but you're like me, Catherine. You just get it yourself anyway, don't you? I got a Wendy station make, a Wendy Vecchi make art, do you know, that takes a lot to get out. A Wendy Vecchi make art stay station. Oh, that's supposed to be good, actually. That's supposed to be really good, that stay station. I can't speak. That the, that the communication's already lacking so, because I've not spoke for a few days, you see, so I don't know how to speak anymore. So if you're playing along with me like Catherine, what you need is you need fossilised amber distress oxide ink, frayed burlap distress oxide ink and ground espresso, Catherine. Ground espresso distress oxide ink. I always get my own presents from my hobby. He hates shopping and this way I get what I want. Exactly. This year... Paints by Pentart and Stamperia Sir and Lady Vagabond collections. Brilliant, Jill. You get exactly what you want, just what it should be. So if you're playing along with me, I'm using Distress Oxide inks and I'm using, I've decanted some of the Distress Oxide spray, frayed, frayed burlap. I've decanted a little bit into a paint palette that's just water that's dirty so just ignore that that's just dirty water that's just dirty water oh i've finished my lovely bird book today took the five days and making at my own pace and will photograph tomorrow oh brilliant jill my lovely sister tracy got me the tim holtz glass media mat oh and the patina paints bless tracy bless tracy paula I love hearing what everybody got, what everybody got. What kind of English is that? I love hearing what everybody gets. I get just quite excited about what everybody else gets. I shop through Catherine as well. I always ask Catherine what she's bought. I'm just terrible. Now, where has it? You've got your cupboards, Catherine. It should be in your new cupboards. If you're using different colours, Catherine, that's fine. No problem at all. If not, I can give you time to get it. 
I got your beards and lots of stamps and stencils. Yay! Yay, Toonie, that's brilliant. Right, so what we're going to do is we're using the gel press and what I'm, you, you need some cut and dry foam or an ink blending tool. So you need some cut and dry foam or ink blending tool. And I'm not going to rush, I'm just going to take my time in doing the page anyway. Media mat is awesome, isn't it, Jennifer? Not in stock. Is it not in stock, Catherine? Pick a different brown. And if you're not using browns, Catherine, use your purples and blues and then pick a Distress Oxide spray that will go with that. Oh, and tr oh, Tracy's here. Trouble's here. She can't wait to see what you do with them. It's nice when you've got crafty sisters. So what we're going to do first is we're going to use the fossilised amber. I'm doing the same. Oh, I can't wait to see the finished results. I love seeing the finished results. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just pressing the fossilised amber Distress Oxide Ink directly on my gel press. So what is the number of the B stamp? No problem at all, Teresa. It is 330 or 436. What This one is the Diddy one and this one is the slightly bigger one which I'm presuming is in there and has fallen down. So I will show you the difference in sizes afterwards. I'll show you the difference in sizes. So I'm just inking this. I had from my husband a wonderful... Oh, yes, because you do the doll's houses, don't you, Bev? It, that's the scale, isn't it? 1.48 is the scale of the doll's house, isn't it, Bev? You'll have to show us that, Bev. So I'm just applying the fossilised amber. You're very welcome, Teresa. I'm just applying the fossilised amber to my gel plate, just pressing it directly with quite firm pressure onto the gel press. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my frayed burlap, but I'm not going to cover the whole area with frayed burlap. I'm covering just around the edges and coming in a little bit just around the edges and coming in a little bit don't cover the whole area with frayed burlap so if you're using a different color don't cover the whole area i just got the hexagonal stencil to go with the b stamp oh that's brilliant serena oh dear i think i need it <laughs> i've got the six inch one jennifer i've got the six inch one so what I'm going to do then is take the ground espresso. So I've got the light colour, the medium and the dark colour. So the dark colour will just go around the edges. The dark colour will just go around the edges of the gel plate. That will just go around the edges of the gel plate with the dark colour. So what I'm going to do then, just so you can see, I've got my fossilised amber. And I've got my cut and dry foam. You're very welcome, Jennifer. I've got my cut and dry foam and I'm going to take some of the fossilised amber. So if you're doing different colours, take your lightest colour. Hello, Nicola. Hello, Flower. I don't know whether I said hello. So I'm just taking the fossilised amber on my cut and dry foam. Hello, Map. Hello there. Hello, Map. Hello there. So I'm just taking my fossilised amber. And what I'm going to do is then blend the fossilised amber around the gel plate. And what this will do is just blend out those straight edges from the ink pad. It will just blend out those straight edges from the ink pad. I'm just blending fossilised amber and it will pick up some of the brown, but that's absolutely fine. So I'm just blending some fossilised amber with my cut and dry foam just to get rid of those straight edges hello dawn hello there i did have a lovely christmas did you flower and what i'm doing now let's just bring this in so you can see what i'm going to do now is dip my brush into a bit of water into a bit of water this is a fan brush did you fall asleep janet you obviously needed it hello flower hello annie so I'm dipping my fan brush into a bit of water and then into the frayed burlap distress oxide spray. Into the frayed burlap distress oxide spray. Hello, Colleen. 
I'm Catherine Alfonsi from our, from France. Oh, bonjour, Catherine. Bonjour. So I'm just going to then splatter some of the Distress Oxide Spray just over my gel plate. I'm just adding some of the Frayed Burlap Distress Oxide Spray that I've decanted into a paint palette and I'm just flicking it onto my gel plate. I'm just flicking the Distress Oxide Spray that I've decanted into a paint palette on to my gel plate. Just a little bit of water as well, just a tiny bit of water and I'm just flicking it onto my gel press. I'm just flicking the Distress Oxide Spray onto my gel press. Hello Gail, hello there. So I'm just flicking it onto my gel press. This is Distress Oxide Spray Frayed Burlap. It doesn't matter, Leslie. So this is Distress Oxide Spray Frayed Burlap. And I'm just using my finger just to flick that onto the gel press. So there seems quite a lot on there now. So I'm just adding that to my gel press. And what I can do is I can just get a wipe, just get a wipe and I can wipe around, because this is, I've added my gel press onto an acrylic block. I've added my gel press onto an acrylic block just to make it easier for me to handle just to make for make it easier for me to handle. Hello, Lorraine. Hello to France and Canada. Exactly, Lorraine. Welcome, everybody. So I've now got the Distress Oxides and the Distress Oxide Spray onto my gel press, onto my gel press. And what I'm going to do, if I've got enough room, is turn this over and press it onto my page. Just press it onto my page and what you can do you can just press lightly if you want you can just press lightly or you can press a bit harder press a bit harder if you want it's, it's up to you how hard or how light you press it's entirely up to you and I've used an acrylic block because I can turn it over and see exactly where I'm going on my page I can see exactly where I'm going on my page and I'm just pressing lightly and allowing that ink to rest on my journal page. I'm just allowing that ink to rest on my journal page. Now, you don't want to press so hard that everything floods out. You just want to press a little bit, but it's up to you because there's more moisture in certain areas. So I'm just pressing lightly in some areas and heavier in others. Hello, Catherine. Yay. Thanks, Tracy. You're very welcome, Catherine. So I can just press as much or as little as I want. And then you lift your gel press, lift your gel press like so, lift your gel press. And if you've got another page in your journal, you might have some ink left that you can just press this again onto another page. You can then press this onto another page if you want to. I'll just place mine on one side. I'll just place mine on one side. And what I always say is it's best if you can let that ink just rest on the page. What I want you to do then if you're joining in is just spritz your page with a little bit of water. Just spritz it with a little bit of water because that oxide will react a little bit more. It'll react a little bit more. Tracy, I'm using the Diane Reevely 8 by 8.5 by 8.5 inch square journal. Oh, thank you, Annie. I'm not a friend with... Well, I like using the gel press for this because it's so easy to do. And if even if you're not a friend of the gel press, this is so easy to do. It's not complicated at all. So it's just using the Distress Oxide Spray and you can decant some out and then you can flick some on so it's the it's the diane reeve the diane reevely not the dina wakely one mine's the diane reevely 
So mine's the Diane Reevely one. So what you've done is you've just sprayed it with some water. And what you need to do is you need to allow it just to sit. Oh, Gail got some of my stamps for Christmas. Yay, Gail. Thank you very much. So I will be catching up on your YouTube channel. Oh, bless Gail. I hope you'll share some of your projects. The background inks, the background inks were fossilised amber, frayed burlap and ground espresso. Ground espresso was the darkest colour, frayed burlap was the second colour and fossilised amber was the third colour. And each time you do it, it looks totally different. It's okay, Kay. How are you, Kay? Frey Burlap Spray is my number one as well. I absolutely love it, but both pages look completely different and I did exactly the same technique. I did exactly the same technique. So the difference is this has got more water on and this has got less water on. I got your beetles, but haven't had a chance to play yet. Oh, I hope you get to play soon, Tracy, because I love seeing the projects. So... It depends how much water you add, how, what kind of technique you get. So what I'm going to do now, when I'm in my workshops, I always say allow the ink to settle and don't dry it with the heat tool. But because, hello, Betty. Hi, power on. Not certain how long. Well, you're just as bad as me, Beverly, with me cooker breaking. If you can leave this to dry on its own, it's even better it's even better because it just works better if you can let it dry on its own. What I want you to do now, what I want you to do now is I want you to pick up, I want you to pick up some of the frayed burlap distress oxide spray, pick up some of the frayed burlap distress oxide sp spray. Oh, I can't wait to see Gail. And then just flick some of the neat distress oxide spray over your page pick up some of the neat distress oxide spray that you've decanted into a paint palette and just flick some around the edges of your page just flick some around the edges of your page so just flick some oh bless you anna thank you so just flick some around your page and it'll just react again some more with that water that's on your page. So just flick some. Can you see it's still reacting with the water that's on your page? It's still reacting. So it's still got time to react with that. So just flick some more and give it time to react. And the only reason I've got this page underneath is sometimes I wanted to mention if you've got a journal that doesn't take inks too well, you can put a scrap piece of paper underneath. Oh, bless you, Sue. Bless you. So you can put a page underneath. But look how this is reacting here. This is now getting some of the blue. It's reacting more. So you need to give that time to react. I love the feeling he and has footy time and I have craft. Beverly, that was exactly why I came upstairs because Ian is what my Ian is watching footy and I thought, well, I may as well do a Facebook live than sit there moaning about the football. I may as well do a Facebook live. So if your pages are not thick enough, you can add a little bit of scrap paper underneath or you can glue two pages together. If you want, you can glue two pages together so you can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give that a few minutes just to keep reacting because just let me lift this up and look how it's reacting here. It's still reacting. So give it time to react and let's do some stamping. It still gives it time to react. So just give it time and place it on one side. Just place that on one side and grab yourself, if you're playing along, some scrap paper. So I'm just going to grab some scrap paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm, gra go blah, blah. I'm going to grab me two little bees. You see, Leslie's the same. Footy's on. 
Well, I don't watch footy, so I thought, why not do a Facebook Live? I'm not watching footy. Just no chance. I'd rather watch paint dry. So I've got my bee. And hopefully I've got my little bee. Let's show the difference in sizes of the big bee and the little bee. We'll stamp them together. I love the... I think it's the best part when it reacts as well. I think it's the best part when it relax, reacts. Catch up later, Lorraine. No problem at all. No problem at all. So can you see the difference in the two bees? I will stamp them so you can see the difference. And for Catherine, because Catherine's playing along as well. So for Catherine, I'm using black ink, Catherine. Black ink, Nocturne Black with the Versafine Claire. So I'm using the black ink for my two bees. And I'm going to stamp one bee. And I'll probably stamp the wings as well. My husband does not do sports, so we work in different rooms and I don't mind a bit. You know, we have to have different interests, don't we? I think we do. And it's on every night. Whoop, whoop. Oh, joy. <laughs> so I'm now going to use the small B. I'm going to use the small B. Just so you can see the difference in size. Just so you can see the difference in size. And I'm going to stamp the wings. Hubby's watching footy as well. I'm in my craft room working on something to mail out. Oh, Laura, sounds interesting. So I'm going to stamp the bee's wings this time. So you need to stamp the bee's wings. So we've got an extra set of wings. My ears keep going funny. I think I've had a ringing in my ear. So it keeps going funny. So I'm just having these for the wings. Just for the wings. I'm making a corned beef pie in the kitchen watching you while my hubby watches football. Corned beef pie. Oh, you see, if we start talking about food, I end up start feeling hungry then. I'm just hoping the second oven works or else I won't be getting any tea. If the second oven doesn't work, I won't be getting any tea at all. So what I want you to do then, as always, is just blot your images. Just blot them just so that we make sure that we don't get any smudging. And now I need to look for my scissors because I just chucked them down. I just chucked them down. Do you deliver, Michelle? <laughs> and I'm going to cut out my bees. And this will just give time for my page to carry on reacting. I'm giving it time to react. In, on that page and it's the best thing to do really to give it time to react but I love hearing about what you got for Christmas I really do so have you got any New Year's resolutions or don't you believe in them I don't make any New Year's resolutions I must admit but do any of you make any I think the only thing I want to be is even more organized I want to be even more organized than I am now it's Santa ringing, telling you he's delivered all your stamps to one. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I just, I don't tend to make New Year's resolutions, but I do want to be a little bit more organised and I want to get my room super organised so that it works even better. Yes, Beb, but it may take a while. I would probably be mouldy by the time it gets to you. <laughs> Nope, I can never stick to them. No, I never stick to New Year's resolutions. I'm quite good in, in trying to be organised, but I want to be a bit better organised, I must admit. A monthly journey. Actually, that's true, Lisa. I want to use my journal more because then I can keep the techniques in my journal. So that is something I do want to do. So that's a good point. I hope to move to the other side of the Netherlands. Oh, I hope it all goes through OK, Karen. I got a new scrapbook, die storage, and memory book dies. Oh, Stacey, that sounds lovely. Isn't it nice getting new goodies? I love getting new goodies, I must admit. I do love getting new goodies. But that's me all over. I always like getting new goodies. No, but daughter hopefully getting married. Ooh. Oh, so I need to lose weight big time. Oh, that's not so good. Oh, that means dieting then. Oh. 
but it's, it's good having a wedding to look forward to and for an incentive as well. So it's good having a wedding to look forward to. So I'm just cutting out the bees and it when you're doing this, it gives you time for your page to react. I want to use more of my stuff I already have. You see, that's good, Serena. I'm very good, actually. I do use my products and I'm a great believer in that you should use your products. That's why I like doing the Facebook Lives to hopefully encourage you to use your products. And that's why I do the workshops to encourage you to use your products because I love using them. So there's the big B and I'm going to cut out the little B. Yes, that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, and that's what Mario says as well. The same as Serena. So I'm just going to just cut the card up just so I can get to it a little bit better. So I know it's a bit like watching paint dry when you're watching somebody cut out. I didn't quite have enough time to cut out everything. So that's why I'm doing the cutting out now. And I thought we could have a little chat. Can I ask what make your dinky scissors are, please? Yes, Gina, these are Pergamano scissors. Pergamano scissors. I use, I've used Pergamano scissors for 25 years and they're what I use for my fussy cutting. I love fussy cutting. I know some of you don't like fussy cutting, but I adore fussy cutting. And I use the Pergamano little curved scissors for my fussy cutting. So I love doing it anyway. And I should have had this cut out for the Facebook Live, so I do apologise. I didn't have it cut out because... I was hoovering and sorting the house out, so I do apologise for that. There's no point in resolutions, not if you bring more stamps out. I'll only bring them. <laughs> Sorry, Gail. <laughs> oh, bless. But yes, I'm going to do more walking as well. I do like walking, but I'm going to do more walking. So that's good for my backside, because I sit on my backside a lot crafting. You see, Tom likes fussy cutting. I'm glad I'm not the only one, Tom. How are you, Tom? How are you? How are you both? And how are your little cats? So, yes, I do like fussy cutting. It just keeps me happy. I'm watching you whilst fussy cutting elements for design team makes. You see, that's brilliant, Jill. Jill's a multitasker anyway. Jill can do 350 things at once. So I'm used to Jill multitasking while she watches. So there I've got my two bees and then I'm just going to cut out the wings. I have the scissors, but could you show how you holding them? Have difficulty, difficult time cutting with them on pink frog. So I'm holding mine like that with my middle finger and my thumb going through the scissors and that resting on there. I tend to have one finger resting on. And I move the card rather than move the scissors. I tend to move the card and not the scissors. It's always the card that moves and not the scissors. I move my card around. I got a Fitbit to encourage my walking so hip recovers quicker. That's actually a good idea, Nicola. That's a good idea. Lots better. Oh, that's good to hear, Tom. Cats are doing well. We have little Willow joining us at the end of January. That's why I asked Tom. So got that to look forward to. Oh, that's lovely. And uh, Dawn's doing design team resin while she's watching. You see, I'm liking this. We're all multitasking and we're all doing something while we're watching. Or some of you might be relaxing. At the end of the day, it's still Christmas, so we don't have to work, hopefully. I know some of us do. So I'm just cutting out the wings for both of my pages. So it just means that the page has got time to react. It means the page has got time to react. So as you can see, Hope, I move my card rather than my scissors. I move my card to cut out. I love fussy cutting too, Yvonne. Very calming, but I use big scissors. Yeah, everybody's different. Everybody uses different things for fussy cutting. And I'm a great believer in whatever keeps you happy. Whatever keeps you happy. Oh, I love walking, but arthritis won't allow it now. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Lynn. No work till Tuesday. Yippee doo dar, Dawn. No work till Tuesday. Yippee for no work. Now, you know when I said to you, you know when I said to you to flick the frayed burlap 
the neat frayed burlap. Do you remember when I flicked it at the end onto my page? Look how it's reacted. Look how the neat frayed burlap that I, that I flicked onto my page from the Distress Oxide Spray, look how it's reacted. Look how that's reacted. I love it. Absolutely love it. Look how that's reacted. Need to work hard. No, Hope. You don't need to work harder, Hope. All as it is is practice, Flower. You don't have to work harder. It's just practice. Don't forget, I wasn't brilliant when I first started either. Yes, I'm pants at fussy cutting. Yeah, but we're all pants at something, aren't we? I'm pants at loads of things. But just look at that now. Look at that background now. I adore it. I absolutely adore that. This circle is six inches, six, in six inches, Colleen. But look at that. Because you've given it time to react, I just love it. I love how that's reacted. And now I can dry it. Because I've given it time to react and because I added those splatters of neat distress oxide spray directly to my page, it looks wonderful. So I'm just going to plug my heat tool in. Just plugging my heat tool in. It does look like planetary, doesn't it, Tom? But I've used Distress Oxide Spray Neat. And that's why it works so well. So now I can give it a dry because it's done the reacting. No, I'm not going to cover it up much, Tracy, to be honest. I'm not going to cover it up much. But I do love it. I'm not going to cover it up much. But I'm just giving it a little dry. Have no distress. It's not distress paint, Louise. It's distress oxide spray that I decanted into a paint palette. It's distress oxide spray that I decanted into a paint palette. Have you been busy with getting dinner, Jane? Well, somebody's got to get dinner, haven't they, Jane? I'm just a lazy urchin and crafted instead of doing cooking. And I've got a good husband as well that does the cooking. So I am very lucky. Just plug me heat gun out. So I just love that page. I love it. And I can just bend my page like so. And then I can just use a bit of kitchen roll just to dab anything that's wet. And I just love that. And your page will go flat because when you close the book, when you close the book, it'll go flat. No problem at all. So I'm just going to use a piece of scrap paper just to make sure everything's dry. Just to make sure everything's dry-ish. Oh, it's day three of turkey, so I'm making a risotto. Oh, how lovely. How lovely. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add some doodling with a micron pen around the outside edge. I love the colours, just love them. But I used the same colours for the um, pre-recorded workshop. But look how different they look. I used the same, apart from the fossilised amber, I used the same for the pre-recorded workshop. You can make it look so different. It is my style, isn't it, Annie? I just love it. I love it. What I'm going to do now is do some t dr um, writing around my circle. And I'm not going to think about what I write. So I'm just going to add, and there's still a bit of moisture on that page. Let me just dab that. There's still a little bit of moisture there. So I'm just going to add some writing around my circle. Around my circle. So don't think about what you're writing. Just go around your circle and just add some writing. But don't think about it. Don't think about what you're writing. So you're just writing anything. Don't think about what you're writing. You do it, you flow free. 
So just add some writing around your page. Don't think about it. Don't think about it too much. No problem at all, Betty. No problem at all. No problem at all. Have a lovely evening, Betty, or day. I always get confused what time of the day it is. So we've just added some writing around our page. And I'm just going to get another scrap of paper. So don't think about what you're writing. Just let it flow out. Just think about a word that, that th you know, you could write the word be. Do you ever read the writing after you've written it? Sometimes, yes, Tom, I'm that sad. So think about what you're going to write, like fly free or protect the bees and just write it dead quick and repeat it over and over and write it really quick and do some doodles that are bigger wet letters. But don't think about it. Do it really freely. Do it really freely and don't think about it. You don't want to think about it. So, do you know, I just love that as it is. <laughs> don't panic. You don't, you, this isn't about liking your handwriting. This is about scribbles. Just scribble curly bits and it's not even thinking about it. It's just curly bits. But yes, you, you could have like a little stamp where you could just go round, couldn't you? So I'm just then going to put that on one side for 30 seconds. But don't go into panic mode. It doesn't even matter what it says. It doesn't matter what it says. It doesn't matter that it means anything. It doesn't have to mean anything. I'm left-handed and I've only just realised why I need left-handed scissors. Oh, definitely, Linda. Yes. So what I'm going to do now is I've got a circle and you're going to ask me the measurement, aren't you? Let me get me tape, let me get me tape measure because you'll ask me the measurement. That is, it's two and three quarter inches, two and three quarter inches across, two and three quarter inches across. It's no problem, Helen, not a problem at all. This is what we've created so far, Helen. This is what we've created so far. This is what we've created so far. I forgot what I said the circle was now. It's not quite three in... Oh, what did I say? It is... No, it's two and three quarter inches. The circle is two and three quarter inches. That wasn't a bad guess. I couldn't guess, Tom. I when I look at something, I'm the kind of person that buys something and says, oh yeah, that looks like it'll fit in. And then when it comes to my house, it's ten times bigger. Can you use the oxide stamp on a mat and add water in place of the spray? Uh, yes, you can, yes, but obviously it's not quite as concentrated, Linda. It's not quite as concentrated, but yes, you can. But it's not quite as concentrated. So what I'm going to do now is use the fossilised amber. Add the fossilised amber initially to my non-stick craft sheet and then just spritz with water and pick the ink up. This is just the first layer. Just pick it up. And I need my heat tool again. But this time, you're going to dry it. This time, you're going to dry it a little bit. You're going to dry it a little bit. Just a little bit, not much. Add a little bit more ink, and then you're just going to dry it a little bit again. You're not going to totally dry it. You're not going to totally dry it. Just asked what I'm watching. I said, Tracy Evans. He said, you love her stamps. If you like anything, I'll treat... <gasps> That is so lovely, Gail. Bless his cotton socks. Right, now, what I want you to do is leave some moisture on there. He's definitely a keeper. I want you to leave a little bit of moisture on that card. So don't dry it completely. Don't dry this completely. I'll tell you why. Because you then pick up the Distress Oxide again, the same colour, the fossilised amber, and because they're still wet on that, you'll get some patches. Look at this now. 
Can you see where I've left the moisture? You get patches of darker colour. It gives you another technique. It gives you patches of darker colour. So leave some of the water on there so that you get some patches of darker colour to give you another technique. So leave some of the water on there so that you get that. Leave some of the water on there so that you get that. So you get some patches. Just been wondering if I could get the same effect by cutting a six inch circle out of a piece of card and place it on, place it on my big gel plate. Yes, Michelle, you can. Yes, you can, Michelle. So can you see that that gives me some patches because that moisture was still on there? That moisture was still on there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring our page in. We're going to bring our page in. I've now running out of space just for a change. That's why we've been together 30 years. Oh, no, I know you don't, Gail, no. It's lovely though, it's so lovely. It really is. Right, what I'm going to do now is I've got a grey ink tense pencil. I've got a grey ink tense pencil and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of shading around my circle, just over my writing and over around the edges of my circle. I'm just going to add grey ink tense pencil around the edge of my circle, just adding it around the edge just to give it a little bit more definition, just to give it a little bit more definition. So I'm just going around with an ink tense pencil just to give my circle a little bit more definition. I just think that's so nice. So I'm just going around with my ink tense pencil and then I'm going to use my um, water brush and try and using that like a gel plate. You can, you, the acetate will, don't forget, a gel plate is different. It's got a sponginess to it. So the acetate is not going to give you the same effect. It will give you an effect, but not quite the same. But yes, it will give you an effect, but not quite the same. So we're just blending just to give me some shading around this circle, just to give me some shading, just to give it some, you can have, exactly, have a go. <laughs> I'm so used to going round things now, um, Alison, that my hands got steadier and steadier. So I'm so used to having, it gets better the more practice. It's only taken me 25 years. I've used polychromo pencils, and if so, polychromos are oil-based and are totally different to ink tents. Ink tents pencils are like an ink in a pencil and are reactive to water. Polychromos are oil-based and you blend them pencil to pencil, or you can use an oil to blend the colors together to give you a seamless blend. Ink tents pencils you react them with water. You can also use them on fabric with ink tense pencils and they react with water and you blend them with water. But you can also use them on fabric. But ink tents are totally different to polychromos. Four and eight inch. I've got the four inch, but the eight inch is nice because that would fill your page it would come here like this and still leave a gap. But if it was me, I would probably go for the 8-inch rather than the 4-inch because you can cut a 4-inch circle and put it on your 8-inch gel press. So I'm just loving that. Absolutely love it. And I've hardly finished. I haven't finished yet. And I love it. What I'm going to do now... How are you doing, Catherine? How are you doing, Flower? What I'm going to do now is take this stencil. I'm going to take the Totally Dotty stencil. So I'm just going to move this on one side, just because there's not enough room on my desk. 
just because there's not enough room on my desk. Maybe a silly question, but what oil would you use to blend polychromos? Let me see if I've got mine handy. Let me see if I've got mine handy. I'm gone. Bear with me. You can either use, you can either blend pencil to pencil. You can either blend pencil to pencil or you can blend with baby oil or you can blend with zest it. Zest it you can blend with or you can blend with baby oil or you can blend uh, pencil to pencil without any blending oil. Are you good, Catherine? And that's not a silly question. Yeah, Dorso oil should work as well. Yeah, you can use baby oil. It's absolutely fine. But don't drown it with oil. But you can't, you don't have to use the oil. You can blend pencil to pencil. Just using light, medium, dark and going back with the light colour. So you can blend. So what I'm going to do now is use the fossilised amber. And I'm going to apply the fossilised amber over my stencil. And I'm just going to spritz that stencil with water. Bring in my book that's in and out like goodness knows what. And I'm just going to add this stenciling here. I'm just going to add it here. And of course, I haven't got any kitchen roll. Trying to reach my kitchen roll while holding it in place. Trying to reach my kitchen roll while holding it in place. And what you want to do is just dab it with a piece of kitchen roll. Oh, you've got diva stencil. <laughs> I did, Annie. I did. So I'm just allowing that ink to settle. I am not bringing baby oil out. <laughs> Are you not bringing baby oil out, Gail? <laughs> and... <laughs> You're just going to allow that to react a little bit while it just carries on. You're going to allow that to react and you're going to repeat the same process. Now, you've still got some ink on there that you could add to another page, but I need the intensity. So you could spray it again and get second generation, but I want first generation. So I'm just repeating it again, spritzing with water and bringing in... I know I'm off doing baby oil now and Gail says she's not bringing out the baby oil. What am I like? So I'm just going to add this to this side as well. So I'm just adding a little bit more stenciling and Karen's going, oh, baby oil. Why not? Because <laughs> her husband might get ideas, Dawn. Her husband might get ideas if she brings out the baby oil. <laughs> So I'm just allowing that just to sit there and then I'll, sh I'll lift the page up and show you. I'll lift the page up to show you just so you can see I've just got touches of stenciling. I've just got touches of stenciling just on the background. Just touches of stenciling just on the background just so you can see. Just moving it around so you can see the textures. Oh, bless you, Leontine. Thank you so much. So that will continue to react. That will continue to react. So what my idea is that this will go here so that it doesn't cover up all this here. We don't want it to cover all this up. We want it to keep that free so it's still got some of that background showing. We want that in there. No problem, Sue. No problem at all. Hello, Lynn. It looks lovely close up. I think when you see the close up, you get the effect of all the layers. You get the effect of all the layers. So I really like that. And especially if you allow the inks to sit. It's good if you allow the inks to sit. It's yummy, isn't it, Annie? Oh, so yummy. Do you think it's a bit weird that we get excited over pages? Do you not think it's a bit weird? I think I'm losing the plot. I think it's slightly strange, you know. It's slightly strange. 
So I'm just dabbing that a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, let me just move this out on one side. Need to go, no problem, Jane. Enjoy your tea, enjoy your tea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the B here, just so that it's stamped in the background, just in case you can see underneath the circle. So I'm just going to stamp the B in the background just in case we get to see any parts of it and then it looks better when you lay it, when you lay it. Oh, thanks, Patricia, thank you. So I'm just adding the stamped image to my circle and I'm just going to allow it to sit. It's a lovely background, isn't it? Listen to me. Well, that's really uh, modest, Tracy. It's a lovely background, isn't it? How modest is that? Oh, thank you, Robin. Yay! We're all weird, but it's a great place. <laughs> oh, bless you, Anna. Doesn't last year seem like a long time ago now, Anna? Doesn't it seem like a long time ago? So I'm just adding the B. I'm just adding the B, like so. And then I need to just be aware that, you know, Catherine needs time. She needs time. I need to find my stamps. Where's my little stamp gone? What you don't want to do is put your stamps down and then not find them. Where's my stamp gone? Have I, oh, it's there, I knocked it off. I smell mine, especially graphy for you. <laughs> well, we all know you're a Fruit Loop anyway, though, Gail. We know you're a Fruit Loop. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my eph ephemera digits, which is this stamp set. I'm going to use this stamp set because I want to use some of these little numbers here. I want to use some of these little numbers. So I'm just inking some of these little numbers and I'm going to add them to my background. Just so you can see, I'm adding some of the little numbers in the background. Move that in camera, Tracy. Just so you can see that, I'm just adding some of the little numbers just in the background, just in the background. Can you see that blotchy bit there? Because I left the moisture on the card. It works so well when you leave the moisture on the card. And I'm just going to add a few more of those numbers. Just a few more of those numbers. Just a delicate touch. Just a delicate touch. That's all I want. Yes, you are amongst friends, Gail. That's very true. You are. <laughs> you are amongst friends. <laughs> That is so true. Right. Just bring in the page again. Just bring in the page. And I'm going to add this here. Going to add this here. Hubby bought me some new colouring pencils. He thought I was weird when I sniffed them. No, Ali. There is nothing weird about that whatsoever. I often sniff quite a few things. You see, again, that doesn't sound right either, does it? It just doesn't sound right. But I do sniff my products. I do sniff the products. And me, Karen, I use that stamp set so much. I use it so much. So I'm just going to place this here just because I don't want to cover up all that beautiful background. I don't want to cover it all up. And I'm just going to use my scrap paper just to press that down. Just to press that down. Oh yes, I like the smell of stays on as well, Rachel. Oh, a paper art shop it just smells divine. A paper art shop smells divine. Absolutely divine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some of that shading just around the B. Just add some shading around the B circle. Just so that it coordinates with everything else. Just so it coordinates with everything else. So I'm just adding some shading around the outer edge of this circle just so we add some shading because we want it to coordinate with the outside circle we want it to coordinate with the outside circle i don't know why i'm trying to pick up moisture that isn't there so i'm just going to add a little bit of shading around this outside circle just so it coordinates with the other circle and it just pops just so it pops needs to pop do you know and i'm quite enjoying the fact that 
it's in my journal as well which means that I can look back on it and then you can adapt the technique a little bit more as well and if you want to create cards or you're looking for an idea for a card when you're in a rush you can just look at your journal and then you've got a card idea as well straight away so I quite like doing that quite like doing it so I'm just smudging around the edge smelling is part of the sussing out the quality <laughs> oh I love the smell of old books Lee I love the smell of old books I'm with you on that one I'm with you on that one right I need my stencil again and I don't I put my stencil down where did I put my stencil can you tell me oh there it is I'm now going to go back with this stencil. I'm now going to go back with this stencil. And I need a baby wipe. I need a baby wipe. And I need, I forgot to tell Catherine, but Catherine can use something else. I'm using a Distress Crayon Ground Espresso. I'm using a Distress Crayon Ground Espresso. I like the smell of pizza. <laughs> well, yes, that does smell good, but I can't eat pizza, Hope. I can't eat pizza. So I'm using Ground Espresso Distress Crayon and I'm just going to scribble, dip my finger onto a wet baby wipe and then just smudge the Distress Crayon. Add a bit more around, dip my finger onto the wet baby wipe and smudge the crayon. Just smudge the crayon. So I'm going to do this a couple of times. Dip my finger onto the baby wipe and then just smudge the crayon. I'm just dipping my finger on the baby wipe that's slightly moist and then blending the distressed crayon. So I'm just blending it because my fingers are moist. So therefore, the distressed crayon blends because I'm adding the blending because I've got a wet finger by touching the baby wipe so i've just added a couple of circles snap i haven't had tea yet no i'm getting hungry now so i'm just going to add a couple more circles to the top a couple more circles to the top and i can just dip my finger on the baby wipe and just blend just blend and then i'm going to just add three circles three circles where do I want that one? Mm, there. I'm now talking to the stencil. Just not a good look. So I've just added a couple of those. So I'll just put the lid on my distress crane because that'll go missing. The distress cranes I got from, you can get them from any of the stockists, uh, James, uh, Country View Crafts, that's crafty you can get quite a, they've all got distress crayons so what I'm going to do now is use my ephemera digits again use my ephemera digits again and get some of those little actually we want bigger numbers first we want bigger numbers first sorry Catherine to confuse you I want to use my numerator stamp I want to use the numerator got my first crayon for Christmas yay Gail you're very welcome, Gail. We've got to get you using those products. We've got to keep you using those products. I don't want your products sat on the shelf. That's really boring. I'm using my numerator stamp now just to add some numbers. Just to add some numbers. So I'm using black ink to add some numbers here. And I'm going to add three numbers from the numerator set. I'm going to add three numbers from the numerator set and I'm just taking my time just thinking about where the numbers are going so and you can see they're quite random they're quite random you're not looking for perfection you're looking for random so you don't have to ink them perfectly you're looking for random only start worrying when stencils start talking back to you <laughs> you know I would be worried if it started talking back to me <laughs> so I'm just adding those random numbers and then what I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the little numbers again 
around my page just so it coordinates with everything else so I'm going to add the little numbers I will lift it up so you can see all the detail I won't keep it to myself I will lift it up so you can see all the detail on the page I will lift it up just so you can see all the detail I'm just using the ephemera digits just to add some little numbers just to add some little numbers let me lift the page up so you can see where I'm going you've got little numbers in the circle here just so you can see all the detail you can see I've got numbers just so you can see that no I'm not using pink frog Lee I'm using Diane Reevely's eight and a half by eight and a half inch journal because I adore the the paper that the card that's in there no problem hope no problem at all what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my B on the top. I'm going to add my B so it pops on the top. I'm going to add my B on the top. I've got to use these B's that we've cut out now. And I just love how the pages come together. I'm really loving the journal at the moment. I'm loving the fact that my stamps are being used and I'm using the journal. So I'm just adding the B and the wings, just the extra wings. Obviously, in your journal, you can't put too much thickness because if you put too much thickness, you're not going to, it's going to flatten anyway because the pages close on themselves. So you can't add too much thickness because that's not going to work in your journal. And my other B, my other B is going here. My other B is going here. I just love this. I'm going to have to do more pages with these bees and with my beetles. I just love it. So pleased with how that circle's turned out. I'm so pleased with it. Stamps by me do them excellent quality and cheaper. They are just the same as distressed crayons. Me and little numbers don't get on. They always look smudged. Yes, you're pressing too hard, Gail. A light touch with your finger. Just use your finger. Don't use your whole hand. Just use your finger to press. It's mixed media paper, Stacey. But you can use, as long as you've got a smooth card, you could use smooth watercolour. You can use mixed media paper. I often use um, the back of Centura Pearl or I use Pink Frog. But in this journal, it's mixed media paper, card. It's not paper, it's card. And I'm just adding these wings to here, like so. So I'm loving this page. You're very welcome, Lee. You're very welcome. But, you know, I'm sure any journal will work. I'm sure any journal will work as long as it's got a good quality paper in there. As long as it's got a good quality paper in there. I'm now going to use some of my washi. I'm now going to use some of my washi. So I want to use some of these numbers here. So I'm just using some of my washi tape because I can oh thank you see is it sizel sizel I I, I'm not very good with pronunciations I must admit I'm not very good with pronunciations so I do apologize if I've got your name wrong I do apologize so I'm just using my washi tape I'm just tearing little bits of the washi just tearing little bits of the washi and I do faff a little bit with the washi I'm afraid I am a little bit of a faffy. It does take me a while. I do faff. Oh, don't get me on pyjamas, Lee. I bought some new pyjamas and I've had to wash them already. Don't ask. Just don't ask. I've had to wash them already. So I don't want that piece. I've had to wash my pyjamas already. That's how good I am. So I've got Ian's pyjamas on at the moment. So I've got the word plant here from my washi tape. I've got the word plant because bees love plants. So there's so much on this washi tape that I could go on forever just using bits of it. Just using bits of the washi tape. So I'm just adding that there like so. Oh, um, do you know, is it sad to be in love with your page? 
I, I bought my own PJs, Lynn. I bought my own PJs. How, how bad is that? I bought my own. I have the bees and not used them yet. In fact, I have a few of all. Well, we need to get you using them, Jenny. We need to get you using them, Jenny. We can't have you just hoarding them. We need you using them. So I'm just going to cut this washi tape just so I've got a torn edge. The firm experiment is kind of stuff as are really good for different textures on it. Yes, they are, Stacey, I agree. And if you wanted, you could put some texture paste on this page if you want. But I'm quite happy with where it's going. I'm quite happy with where the page is going. So I'm just going to add imagination there. And I've got a little bit of black here. A little bit of black here. So I'm just going to add that. That's just the washi tape. Just the edge of the washi tape, like so. Oh, I'm so chuffed. You nearly finished yours, somebody's asking. Nearly finished yours. So I'm just looking at my page now, and I'm just going to add a little index clip. We need to get you using your products. We need to get you using your products. We can't have your products lying on the shelf. It's neither use nor ornament. We can't have your money going to waste. No, I'm like that, Karen. I've got torn washi tape everywhere. What I'm going to do now is add some white splatters. Let's make sure the paint, the oh, it's working now. Just add some white splatters to your page just add some white splatters to your page like so and that for me is the journal page finished i may add some scratch actually i'm just going to add some scratchy lines i'm just going to add some scratchy lines i always say it's finished then i d then i do something else i always say it's finished and then do something else so I'm just going to add some chalk. I'm just going to add some chalk and use an old credit card. Oh, thanks very much. Thank you, Tracy. So I'm just going to add some scratchy lines with my chalk. And then if you did the page on the pre-recorded workshop, this will go with that as well. So I'm just adding some scratchy lines just with my credit card just with my credit card thank you for all the hearts thank you for all the hearts i'm just adding a couple of scratchy lines with chalk paint just with chalk paint just adding a few scratchy lines here and there and that let me just add a couple here that I am happy with. I'm absolutely, I love them. I'm so pleased with that page. And I'm not a journaler. I just do what makes me happy. You know, I'm not a professional journaler, but I just love that. Look at them two pages together now. So hopefully that will give you something to do. And if you're looking for anything else to do, then there's a pre-recorded workshop for these pages as well. There's a pre-recorded workshop for these pages as well. But I just love how that's turned out. Those pages together. Oh, you're very welcome, Patricia. Coming for you. That's lovely. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie. I'm so pleased with it, Karen. I'm chuffed to bits with it. I love it. There's an angry face there. <laughs> You're very welcome, Linda. You're very welcome. I will be back with more Facebook Lives and more journal pages. Oh, bless you, Susan. Thank you. Thank you, Irma. Thanks, Diane. So I will be doing more journal pages when I think of some more designs. And it was lovely just to spend an hour with you. It really was. And wishing you get well soon, Anne. I really hope you get well soon, Anne. Thanks, Beverly. Thank you. So I'm hoping you'll have a go at the journal pages and maybe do something a little bit different and maybe have a go with your stamps. 
You're very welcome, Alison. So have a lovely evening, everybody, and I will be back soon with another journal page. Oh, thank you, Marjorie. Oh, bless you, Marjorie. I may have missed you. Thank you, Marjorie. Thanks, Sheila. Thanks, everybody. See you all soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.